Hello guys, and welcome to another discussion video, and today I'm going to talk about some upcoming game predictions, specifically Mario games in 2022, because so far there's only one Mario game announced, which is Mario plus Rabbid Sparks of Hope, and while that game looks amazing, and it's really everything that I want from like a Mario game in terms of being unique and um, stuff like that, I... I really think there could be more Mario games this year. Like last year, we had three major Mario games release. And then in 2020, we had two major Mario games release with Paper Mario and 3D All-Stars. So I definitely think it's possible that we could see another Mario game release this year, if not maybe one or two others. So in this video, I'm going to go through the possible candidates for Mario games that could release this year, from sequels to games already on the Switch, to really Mario series that we haven't seen yet on the Switch, and like actual sequels to the ports, or Wii U ports that are already on the Switch. So basically, I'm going to go through the smaller titles first, then the larger titles. So the first smaller title I have is Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and I feel like with that series, there really hasn't been a game since 2016 with Mini Mario Amiibo Challenge, and even though that's technically not like Mario vs. Donkey Kong with the title and everything, it's undeniably a part of the series, and with that series, I feel like the gameplay has been getting pretty stale with like the puzzle platforming and everything they've been doing since the DS game. And I, I should say DS games, because there's like multiple on the DS, but the original game on the Game Boy Advance was actually a successor to Donkey Kong 94 on the Game Boy, which in itself was a sequel to the original Donkey Kong. So I feel like we could possibly be getting a return to form for the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, especially because... Super Mario Odyssey kind of brought back, like, a lot of Donkey Kong references and introduced New Donk City, which supposedly was where Donkey Kong actually took place. So it would be really cool if we actually saw, like, a lot of references to the settings introduced in Super Mario Odyssey, maybe even a recreation of the original Donkey Kong with, of course, like, a lot of other aspects introduced in the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series. Maybe, like, a game set in the time frame of the original Donkey Kong that introduces a lot of the things that we know about from Super Mario Odyssey. I think that would be really interesting, and actually do something, like, interesting like that. Like, Mario vs. Donkey Kong New Donk City. Some, like, a game kind of like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly what I was thinking, but it could be... It could even be like a sequel to the original Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2 and do like a lot of unique locations. But I think a return to form for the original Mario vs. Donkey Kong would be really nice. So, the next game that's actually likely to get a game in 2022 is Dr. Mario. And I would say that it's likely because Dr. Mario World just shut down. And since that game wasn't very successful, but the Dr. Mario series in general seems to be pretty pretty consistent on Nintendo consoles since the last games were on the Wii U and 3DS. I definitely think it's possible that we'll get like a Dr. Mario game on the Switch itself, and I feel like if we're gonna get one, it's probably gonna release this year, definitely due to like Dr. Mario World shutting down, and the fact that there's not a Mario game announced for this year yet, so... I think Dr. Mario is likely, and we could possibly be seeing it sometime this year. Two games that I think are unlikely but not completely impossible are Mario Strikers and Mario Baseball. Um, Mario Baseball I think is pretty unlikely, but Mario Strikers I think that definitely has a possibility of actually happening because Mar or because Nintendo just acquired um, Next Level, the Next Level games, which developed the Mario Strikers games along with the newer Luigi's Mansion games. So there is a possibility that they could bring Mario Strikers back because Nintendo has been bringing back a lot of older series and some series from the 2000s too, like WarioWare and Big Brain Academy, kind of games like that. But I definitely think Mario Strikers is possible. 
because I feel like it kind of has a cult following and a lot of people are asking for it. And I feel like a lot of the games coming back are things that people have asked for. Like a lot of people have wanted Metroid Dread and games like that. So there's definitely a possibility that Nintendo could actually hear the fans and bring back Mario Strikers. So now going into more larger titles, I think Super Mario Odyssey 2 is possible because I know there were leaks, but I don't really completely go off of leaks. I feel like the timing is kind of right for another 3D Mario game to happen, since it's been almost five years, and that's about the time between 3D Mario games. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. So I think Super Mario Odyssey 2 could possibly happen this year, if not just announced this year and release next year. And... I didn't want to go too in-depth with Odyssey 2, because I've had discussions with that in the past, but one thing that I haven't discussed that much was 2D Mario, and I think that's likely, because 2D Mario, there really hasn't been a brand new big 2D Mario game since New Super Mario Bros. U. Sure, there was New Super Luigi U and Super Mario Run, but those were really smaller titles, like one was part of DLC, even though it had a standalone release with New Super Luigi U, and Super Mario Run, it was a mobile game, that's undeniably a small game. And we also got New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which is a port, so I feel like if we're gonna get a 2D Mario game, it's gonna be something unique. Because I really don't think Nintendo can get away with releasing a game that's basically identical to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe on the Switch. Because consumers will definitely point it out if it's like in a store or like getting commercials and everything like that. Because there's a lot of people who bought New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. So I don't really think it's possible for Nintendo to release basically the same, like a game that basically looks the same on the surface. So I think it possibly would actually be titled as New Super Mario Bros. 3, because I feel like that moniker is pretty successful being between um, New Super Mario Bros. DS all the way up until Deluxe. So I do think they'll keep the New Super Mario Bros. branding, but it will be something more like Tropical Freeze or Rainbow Legends. It will actually be like a 2D platformer that's more interesting and has like a more unique twist to it while keeping a lot of the same branding as the other 2D Mario games. Like, I feel like DS was, like, very unique, even though it had, like, the new Super Mario Bros. title. I mean, it was the first game, and I feel like it kind of introduced a lot for 2D Mario. And another kind of example of a 2D Mario game being more unique, probably the most unique 2D Mario game, is Super Mario Land 2. The original Super Mario Land, even though it's pretty unique with its enemies and locations and everything, it did feel kind of basic, even though it was pretty fun. It was, like, pretty bare bones for a 2D Mario game. But the sequel to that fleshed it out. It wasn't really similar to it, despite being a sequel. It actually kind of expanded upon it and did something very different. So that's what I feel like New Super Mario Bros. 3 or New Super Mario Bros. Switch could possibly do. And the next one that I think is likely is Mario Kart 9. Again, not because of the rumors, but because it's been so long since Mario Kart 8, and it's been a few years since Mario Kart Tour, so there's definitely a possibility that they've been developing this for a while. And I feel like the Mario Kart team, I think that's the same team that developed ARMS, and since the studio really isn't working much on Mario Kart Tour. Sure, there is still, like, new tracks, new characters. It's still a mobile game, and it doesn't really take that much resources to develop. So, since ARMS is not being supported, and Mario Kart Tour is not really being supported that much, even though it's getting, like, new courses and everything, I do feel like it's still kind of has minimal development involved with it since it's a mobile game, so I feel like Mario Kart 9 is definitely likely for this year, if not next year, so, because it's been, like, so long, and even though Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is selling well, I feel like it's not really a good decision for Nintendo to wait until the sales dry up to develop a new Mario Kart game. That's very, really, 
not a good decision for Nintendo, because I feel like they would lose out on a lot of money if they just waited too long. Because Mario Kart 9, if they release that soon, it's almost guaranteed to make another 30 million. Because there's still a lot of Switch units that don't have a Mario Kart game at all, even though Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sold a lot. A lot of people could buy Mario Kart 9, and people buying a Nintendo Switch could buy Mario Kart 9, so it would sell probably just as well, if not better, than Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And another one that I think is possible is Mario & Luigi. So, Alpha Dream shut down a couple years ago. I think about a year... I think, like, yeah, a little over two years ago now, which is kind of crazy. But I feel like Mario & Luigi might be handled by a different studio, if not former employees and developers of Alpha Dream. Um, because Mario & Luigi was actually pretty successful on the DS and 3DS. Because, except for the remakes... But I feel like Nintendo won't really consider the remakes entirely. They would. I feel like Nintendo would just consider it as like remakes not really selling well because they're basically the old games and everything released late in the 3DS's lifespan. But if you look at all the other games, they've sold multiple millions of copies. Like I feel like I don't know the exact statistics off of my head, but I know that they sold decently well. At least as well as the Paper Mario series has sold. And since the Paper Mario series is obviously still going, I feel like Nintendo could possibly continue the Mario and Luigi series. Because they could possibly do something similar to what they did with Mario Party. Because when Hudson Soft was not able to make Mario Party games anymore, I think it was because of a buyout, I'm not exactly sure. But former Hudson employees moved over to ND Cube and started developing Mario Party games there. Even though the Mario Party games didn't really get good until last year, I mean, that's not entirely... That couldn't entirely be the case for Mario and Luigi. I don't really think it's completely gonna go downhill, because I feel like it's... I still have some faith in another developer kind of developing it, because I feel like... Mario & Luigi with the gameplay, I don't feel like the gameplay is too hard to mess up. Even the more weaker titles and mediocre titles, like Paper Jam, the gameplay still holds up well. So, I feel like Mario & Luigi are pretty faithful in another studio developing it, and I feel like former employees of Alpha Dream might move over to another company, maybe Intelligent Systems, or Nintendo in-house, or maybe even something completely different, maybe even like Monolith Soft and develop a Mario & Luigi game. I'm not sure which developer, but I definitely think it's possible that we could get another Mario & Luigi game. And finally, I think it's possible that we could get a remake, or a re-release of a Mario game. So, there's a lot of options. Like, there could possibly be a remake of Super Mario Land and Super Mario Land 2, or a re-release of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I feel like the possibilities are basically endless on this one, but since Nintendo is usually consistent on making remakes and re-releases with like Rezo or just straight up a re-release from Nintendo in-house, I think remakes or re-releases are definitely possible for the Mario series, and we'll just have to see what we could get with that. So anyways, those are my ideas for Mario games in 2022, other than Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.